following video is not a 100% reenactment, mainly because I watched it once live and I can't remember every single detail of what happened because I haven't rewatched it. I probably should have rewatched it before recording this figure reenactment. Thank you for your time. Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this special reenactment of the Ronda Rousey contract signing segment from last night's Elimination Chamber. First person we're going to need is Kurt Angle and this is my Kurt Angle figure that's faulty because it only plays the first few seconds of his entrance music, not all of the entrance music, like it is meant to do. So we're just going to use this faulty boxed Kurt Angle for now. Uh, if you're doing a contract signing, you need a contract. That's what we've got right here. This came with the contract chaos playset. Uh, can you make that? You can't make that out. Brilliant. Thanks, camera. Uh, but that is an actual WWE Mattel contract uh, with a table. As well as that, we need Stephanie McMahon. Uh, she is holding a WWF microphone. And of course, we need Triple H, who was wearing a suit, but I don't have one of him in a suit. So he is here in wrestling attire, holding an NXT microphone. Crowd were actually chanting for Triple H at the start of this, uh, probably showing their love for NXT. And out came Ronda Rousey. There obviously isn't a Ronda Rousey Mattel figure yet. I've got this pop vinyl which will not stand up. It is the worst pop vinyl in the world. So I've had to sell a tape, a raw plug to the back of it to get it to stand up. Look, if I actually take this off to show you what it... There you go, look. Falls over every single time. So, oh, hang on. Let me reattach this. Here it is then, guys, reattached, and now we've got a standing Ronda Rousey. Uh, oh, God, come on. These are so fiddly. Honestly, this is the worst pop vinyl in the world. Um, but hopefully we get a Mattel figure soon. Right, that didn't happen. At no point did she fall over and headbutt the table, right? Or the ring. She didn't headbutt the ring or the table. Oh, what is going on? What is this? Okay, guys, so Steph starts things by saying how great it is to have Ronda join the women's division, the women's revolution. Ronda steps forward, talks about, trips over her words, actually, talking about how great it is to be here, her love for Rowdy Roddy Piper, uh, then gets a bit emotional when the crowd start chanting her name. Up to this point, it had been a bit 50-50 if the crowd were behind her. Uh, it's a bit awkward of a beginning. She needs Paul Heyman to do some talking for her. Uh, Triple H steps forward. Steph kind of interrupts as well at one point. It's all a very clunky start to this. But Triple H steps forward and says, Ronda, you will be at WrestleMania. Not in a championship match. But can you confirm you don't want any perks? Ronda confirms I don't want any perks in my contract. And it's an okay beginning we get some big points across but Kurt oh, Triple H that didn't happen ignore that bit Kurt Angle clearly has something he wants to say Ronda goes Kurt is there something you want to say and Kurt Ang oh my right bear with me hang on right Kurt then steps forward and and let's get the music going actually let's give this a bit of rhythm I think that you're being duped you don't need to have no perks Press it, press the thing. And, and so you are, they don't really rate you, and no, they don't like you. And, like, obviously this upsets people. So, like, Triple H is like, what are you on about, you mad fool? Like, oh, he's been to the doctors, he's got the flu. Come on, Kurt, we need to leave. You don't know what you're on about. Uh, we never told you any of this stuff, and so they both leave. Triple H can go there. And uh, so they both leave, which just leaves Ronda Rousey and Stephanie in the ring. And now the mood has changed. She's not smiling and getting upset anymore. Stephanie McMahon agrees that they were embarrassed, but also impressed by Ronda at WrestleMania 31. But Kurt will not shut up. The final thing he says is apparently they called her a has-been backstage. And that is when this all goes to the next level. It kicks off Ronda Rousey, face like thunder, gets into the face of Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon looks worried. 
Why wouldn't you? Triple H, after leading Kurt Angle away, steps back into the ring. Parts the two women. He's trying to calm the situation down. Little smile on his face. He's giggling. He's like, look, let's sign the contract. Let's all be friends. We can go and get some popcorn, yeah? And uh, that's when Stephanie starts edging her way out of the ring. She's seen an angry Ronda Rousey. Why would she stick around? I wouldn't stick around. And she goes to the outside. She does it with a bit more grace than what this figure is, right? This Don't forget, this is just a reenactment, right? But it's not 100% as to what happened. Uh, that leaves Rowdy Ronda Rousey and Triple H in the ring. You think that Triple H is going to be all right, but things are about to take a turn for the worse because she grabs Triple H, the contract's still not signed, and puts him through the table! What a moment! This brings Stephanie McMahon into the ring. I think somewhere in here, Stephanie slaps Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey does not respond well to that at all. Turns around and gives one of the meanest looks I've ever seen in WWE history. It's absolutely incredible. Even I was scared watching at home. And that one glare... That one look was enough to drive Stephanie McMahon away. And that left the exit clear for the newest sign into WWE. Rowdy, Ronda, Rousey. And we are surely building towards Ronda and Kurt versus Triple H and Steph at this year's WrestleMania. The contract was signed. It didn't take that long. She hurls the contract down. And now we have got an absolute megastar in WWE. I should say another megastar. There's quite a few megastars. But that's kind of roughly what happened. Steph was then upset. She said that Ronda was going to have to apologize on Raw. Ronda's not going to apologize on Raw. This is all going to continue till we get to WrestleMania, which is like six weeks away. I'm loving it. I love this segment. I hope you did as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.